Alrighty, welcome back for part two of the Peppermint Candy Spilt Cover. We're going to be starting with row 10 here. So go ahead and chain one. I've got my hook in the red and we're going to be doing, placing 10 double crochets across the top here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go ahead and place two double crochets in this chain to this chain section. One and two. Okay. Now this go, we are going to be chaining 12 to get us to the next red. So one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Now go ahead and make sure that your white loop and your white tail are pulled forward. Okay. And now we are going to yarn over. Okay. And stick our hook in the second stitch over here, and we're going to do our repeat again. So place 10 double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to place two double crochets in the chain space. One, and two. And we're going to wrap up the repeat with a chain twelve. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. So go ahead and repeat with the red four more times, and I'll help you with the white. All right. I've got the last of my red repeat here going, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of those first two red double crochets. So one and two. Go ahead and pull that tail nice and long and then move your work so that you can put your hook in your white tail or your white loop okay and so let's go ahead and do this repeat one time together with the white we're going to chain one and we're going to place 10 double crochets so one two three, four, five, six, I don't know where my red got caught there, seven, eight, nine and ten and now we're going to place two double crochets in that chain space so one a total of 12 double crochets here and two and we're going to wrap up the repeat with our chain 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 
11, 12. And you will pop over to this next white cluster of double crochets and start in that second one. So I'll meet you at the end to help you finish up this row. All right, I've got all my white repeats done going here and I'm gonna pull my tail and my red loop forward. I'm gonna pop over here and place my two slip stitches in the top of my first two double crochets to close out this round. So one and two. And we're gonna pull that loop nice and tall, okay? Let's go ahead and get your hook and your red loop. All right, so at the end of row 10, if you are doing a pediatric wheelchair, you are gonna fasten off, um, excuse me, you are not going to do your last um, chain 11 of your white. You are actually going to um, continue on into this space here and go click on border row one timestamp down below. And that will continue on and show you how to place the last I'm going to say it's like five rows for the pediatric size. So go ahead and unravel that chain 12 that you just did and get back to this stitch here and go click on that timestamp down below for border row one. All right, we're going to be moving into row 11 here and I've already got my hook in my red loop. We're going to chain one here and we're going to go ahead and place 11 double crochets across the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, and now you're going to pop two double crochets in that chain space. One and two. Okay, so this go, we are going to be chaining. 13. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Oh, I gotta go chase my piece because it fell off the table. <laughs> so now you're going to pull your white tail and loop forward. Okay. And we're gonna pop over to the second red double crochet over here and repeat. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and put a total of 11 double crochets across the top here. So we've got two here. Ah. Don't drop your yarn like I did. And then Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Go ahead and put two double crochets in this chain space. One and two. Chain 13, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So go ahead and repeat that four more times with red and I will see you for white. All right, so I've got all my red repeats going here and I am going to slip stitch into the top of my first two red double crochets here. 
one and two. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that loop nice and tall and I'm gonna shift my piece. Go ahead and stick your hook in your white. Chain one and let's do that repeat with white one time together. So we're gonna place 11 double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We'll place our 12th and 13th stitches in the chain space. So one and two here. And then you're going to chain 13. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. And then you'll start in that second double crochet. So go ahead and repeat that five times and I will see you at the end to help you close out this round. All right, so I've got my last white repeat here. So we are gonna pop over here and actually make sure that our red loop and tail is pulled forward, okay? And then we are going to slip stitch twice into the top of those first two double crochets, okay? So one and two, okay? Pull that loop nice and tall and get your hook in that red loop. All right, moving into row 12, we are going to be chaining one. And now we're gonna place 12 double crochets across the top here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12, okay, whoops, ah, I keep doing that, oh my goodness, go ahead and place two double crochets in the chain space, one, and two, so that's a total of 14, And then you're going to chain 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 13, 14. All right. Go ahead and pull your white loop and your white tail forward. Okay. And then you're gonna pop over to your next red set of double crochets and go into the second one and you're gonna place 12 double crochets. Oh my gosh, this yarn today has a mind of its own, y'all. I am so sorry. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and 12. Go ahead and place two double crochets in this chain space. One and two. And you're going to wrap up the repeat with a chain 14. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> so go ahead and repeat four more times, starting over here in your next um, red in the second stitch over. All right, I've got all six of my red repeats here. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of both of my first two double crochets here. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. One and two. Go ahead and pull. If you are moving on to um, a standard side, size wheelchair of a 24 inch, um, you will keep your red attached. But if you are doing a 22 inch wheel spoke, you will fasten off your red and weave in that tail. Okay, but um, for the sake of standard wheelchairs, we are going to pull that loop a little bit taller because we have two more rows to go. So for my 22 inchers, keep on going here. Pop your hook in the, um, for everybody really, but pop your hook here in this white loop, chain one. And let's do this repeat one time together with the white. So we're gonna do 12 double crochets all the way across here. Three, now my yarn is getting stuck somewhere. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. You are going to place two double crochets with the white around this um, chain space. One, and two. And then you're gonna chain 14 like you did with the red. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, if you're doing a 22 inch wheel, <clears throat> you are going to, which is typically your 16 and 18 inch seats, you are not going to do your chain 14 um, when you get to this last repeat, okay? And there is a re reason for that. Now, if you are doing a standard wheelchair wheel, which is 24 inches, we Moving into row 13. Now remember, if you're watching this for a pediatric or standard, please move on to border row one. Um, this is gonna be the last row though for the standard wheelchairs. So go ahead and chain one. And for this go, we are going to actually put 13 double crochets here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ooh, Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. You're going to put two double crochets in the chain space here, and you're going to chain fifteen. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, 
go ahead and pull your white tail and your white loop forward. Okay, yarn over and go ahead and get into that second double crochet of the next set of red stitches and place 13 double crochets. And we're going to pop two double crochets in the chain space. Okay. So one and two. And now you're going to chain 15. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. So go ahead and do the repeat four more times and I'll help you with white. All right, you can see I've come to the end of my repeats for red. And so now we are going to be popping over here and slip stitching into the top of the first two stitches here. And you can actually fasten off and weave in your red at this point. You are all done with red for this project. Um, so go ahead and cut about a six to eight inch tail and weave that baby in. And then we are going to carry on. I'm going to pull my loop out here because I've got other things to be doing with that. But we're going to carry on over here to our white. All right. And so let me move my red out of the way. So now we are going to repeat that together one more time. Chain one. And we're going to pop 13 double crochets across the top here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Let's go ahead and put two double crochets in this chain space. So one and two. And now we're going to chain fifteen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So go ahead and repeat that um, five more times. On the last repeat, do not chain fifteen, just in with your two double crochets in the chain space, and we're going to move on to the border for row one. All right, we're going to be moving into row one of our border and we are going to be working with white whether you whatever size wheel you are working on you should not have done your last um, chain section of your last white repeat that we did and then also you should have fastened off with your color okay and so we are going to be working into the top <clears throat> of this next round starting in the red we are going to be crocheting over top of the white chains um, as well as into both loops of our red for this entire row, okay? But we are going to be using white all the way around. Now, for this round, what you are going to do is skip the first three double crochets of your color, or the first two, and you're going to start working in your third. Um, so go ahead and yarn over twice. You're going to skip one, two, and start in your third. You're going to go into both loops as well as around the chain space with a treble. So pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, three times. So one, two, three, four, 
3. And we're going to repeat that all the way down to the second to last stitch, okay? So if you have a pediatric wheelchair, you're going to wind up having nine stitches to get you to the second to last stitch. And if you have a 22 inch wheel, you should have <clears throat> 11 trebles here. And if you have a 24 inch wheel, you're going to have 12 trebles here. Okay. Remember we're going all the way to the second to last stitch. So, all right, here we go. Let's see how many I got here. I'm doing a 22 inch wheel here, so I'm going to have nine, or no, 11, two, four, six, seven. So I've got four more to go. the number three somebody might have needed to know a number <laughs> all right let's see where am I here I got three left <clears throat> so I got to do two more stitches to get me to that second to last stitch okay and then I'm going to go into the top of my second to last one which is going to be the first of the two double crochets that are over your chain space okay so no matter what size you got, you skipped your first two double crochets and you're gonna be skipping your last double crochet, okay? In the, in the color section here. Now, you are going to um, skip the first double crochet of your white right here, okay? And you are going to be placing um, either 10 double crochets, 12 double crochets, or 13 double crochets across the top here we're going to be skipping our first and our last double crochet of our white sections okay we're just doing double crochets so skip we're going to go into the second one no matter what size wheel you're working on you're starting in the white in the second stitch okay why my yarn is giving me such a problem i did put on lotion not too long ago so maybe that's why Sorry about that, I just did a treble again. Got into muscle memory mode. So two, if you're doing a 22 inch wheel, this is gonna be 12 double crochets across the top here. Skipping the first and the last of your white sections, okay? If you're doing the pediatric wheelchair, you are gonna have 10 double crochets across the top here. And if you're doing a 24 inch wheel, you are gonna have 13 double crochets here, okay? Let's see where I'm at. All right, Let's see here. So you can see I skipped my first double crochet, I skipped my last, all right? And that's all the repeat is. All right, so, um, we are going to be repeating that. Um, so let's do it again together. We're going to skip these first two reds. Alrighty. So <laughs> I do apologize. I had to uh, edit the video because I did not crochet over the chain space for our second repeat here together. So go ahead and yarn over twice and we are going to skip these first two reds. We're going to go into the top of the third red as well as around that white chain. All right, so make sure you're going around that white chain because I totally com completed this entire repeat um, not going over that white chain, but that's just gonna lock this pattern in place. So <clears throat> if you are doing, um, we're gonna be doing these trebles across here, we're skipping those first two stitches and we're gonna skip the last stitch of the color section here. So you are going to either have nine, 11, or 12 trebles, depending on which tire size you are doing, okay? This row is confusing for anybody due to the stitch count adjustments um, and being able to address all three sizes at the same time. Please drop a comment down below 
and I will answer for you, okay? And we can also set up a Zoom chat if you need me to help you. All right, so let's see where I'm at here because I'm doing the 22-inch tires. Um, and we're going all the way to the second to last stitch, which is your first double crochet over the chain space. So I've got three more to do, okay? now I've got all my trebles across the top here. I've skipped those first two and I've skipped that last one. And now we are going to do the white again. So we're going to skip the first um, white double crochet here and we're going to place double crochets all the way again to the second to last stitch. So if you, um, for this white section, you're going to either have 10, 12, or 13 double crochets across the top here. Okay. And that's all this round is. You're going to do this repeat by yourself four times. And then we'll move on to the next round together, which is a lot simpler than this one. Um, but this is the last difficult row, and you've made it almost. We only have three more rows to go, including attaching to our hoop. So. All right. All right, and there's my second to last. So that's what your repeat's going to look like. So go ahead and do that four more times. Remember, you're, re you're skipping the first two and the last double crochets in your color sections. And then you will skip the first and last double crochets in your white sections. Make sure that you are crocheting over the top of your white chain. Okay. And I will meet you for the next round. All right. So coming up on the end of row one for our border we are going to slip stitch into <clears throat> the top of our first treble, okay? As well as our second, okay? Just to make sure that it's nice and secure and we're gonna fasten off with about six to seven inches. And you can go ahead and weave that in, okay? Pull that through and weave that in and we are actually going to be um, attaching green. So go ahead and flip it over to your wrong side for row two. All right, so moving into row two, this is gonna be the same for everybody. We are going to take our green and make your little slip knot, okay? And uh, get your hook in there. And now it doesn't really matter where you attach this, um, we are going to be doing front post double crochets all the way around. I'm going to attach mine into a double crochet here. Um, so go behind it like this. Okay. Pick your, um, pull your loop through and you're going to slip stitch like that. Okay. Go ahead and chain one. And now you're going to yarn over and go behind that same stitch and complete a front post double crochet okay now that's all this row is all the way around you're gonna go around each stitch um, from the wrong side with a front post double crochet okay this is gonna be real nice and easy on anybody who has a little bit of carpal tunnel in those um, back post double crochets can be difficult I will mark the stitch count for all three sizes down below on how many front post double crochets from the wrong side you should have and i will most likely label them um, back post double crochets though because typically stitch counts are done um, discussing from the front side the right side so go ahead and complete your front post double crochets all the way around all right so come to the end here we are just going to be slip stitching into the top of that very first front post double crochet to get this row completed, okay? And now you are going to flip over to the right side and we'll work on the next row. All right, moving into row three of the border. I'm on the right side, I'm gonna chain one. And now we're going to be placing a single crochet back into that same stitch that we slip stitched into. 
and all the way around. So just place a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I will mark the stitches in the comments. Um, as always, on how many single crochets you should have per wheel size, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. You're just gonna slip stitch to the top of our first single crochet here, and um, then you will fasten off with green, and we're gonna switch back to white. All right, we're gonna be moving into row four. I have already fastened off with my green. However, I've not slip stitched um, with the green. What we are going to actually do is slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet with white here. Okay. Now, I always pull my um, tails forward, so my green and my white, and then I chain one, and that kind of locks them in place, okay? Now, for this round, we are going to be placing 11 double crochets to get started, okay? This is the beginning of our repeat. So go ahead and pop 11 double crochets here. So this is gonna be one. I am gonna be crocheting over the top of my tails. Um, that doesn't bother me. So two. three, four, five, six, seven, So now you're going to place two double crochets in the next stitch and that's all this repeat is all the way down or around I guess um, and it doesn't matter what size wheels uh, you're working on you're going to place 11 double crochets and then two double crochets for the pediatric wheelchairs you will do this repeat eight more times for your 22 inch wheels you will do this repeat 10 more times and for your 24 inch wheels, you will do this 11 more times. And when you get to the end of the row, after your last repeat, you're gonna definitely have some stitches left over and I will help you with that. All right, so I've just done my last repeat and it left me with, I believe it's actually five stitches, but it looks like four. So all I'm gonna do is put in these last four stitches here, um, one, and it doesn't really matter which size wheel you're working on. You're just going to finish out this round with double crochets, okay? And all the way to the end. And I'll mark this. And as always, the, the stitch count should be down in the bottom. But now you're going to slip stitch into the top of this one, okay? This first stitch here. And I'm going to mark mine with a stitch marker because... Now, you are actually going to take stitch markers and attach this to your hoop. And again, if you haven't done that yet, the link down below on how to make the hoops and all the materials for those should be in the comments. Um, so you'll attach with stitch markers evenly. I use about 12 to 15 stitch markers and I attach them to the PVC tube um, after the super glue has um, dried. So, or if you're attaching this to a steel ring, you're gonna wanna go ahead and evenly distribute all your bits. I usually put a stitch marker like above the center or even like put a stitch marker here and here. And that way it just evenly distributes it around the hoop. So go ahead and do that. And then I will help you with attaching it to the hoop. All right, moving into round five. My yarn is in front of my um, my hoop as well as my hook, and I've got my hook here in my um, yarn. I'm gonna chain one, and now I'm gonna go back into that stitch, that same stitch. I'm gonna go behind the hoop, so my yarn's in front of the hoop. 
my yarns in back of it, I'm going to grab that and pull it up through the stitch. I'm going to yarn over and complete a single crochet. Okay, let's do that again. So we're going to go into the top of the stitch, underneath the hoop and out the back. We're going to pull up our loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through two. And that's how you attach this to your hoop all the way around. You'll put one single crochet in the top of each of your stitches, as well as around your hoop, the same way you might a chain, how we did down here, okay? And when you get to the end of this, I'm not gonna finish out this row with you just because all you're gonna do is slip stitch into the top of these first two or three stitches, and then you'll weave in all of your ends, and you'll attach with the ring binder clips to your wheelchair, and you're all complete. So congratulations, this is a really fun project. I'm super excited to see everybody's candies out there on their wheels rolling around. And thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. I look forward to doing another one with you.